that's a value that you get from having an HG type test done on your nematode. And that's a little more than an egg count. You have to collect a gallon or two of soil, send it to a laboratory, and they'll do a greenhouse test growing pure PI88788 on the nematode from that field, and they'll measure the percent. That female index of 10% means that 90% of the nematodes were controlled, but 10% survived. As female index goes up, it means lack of control by the resistance. In the good, good old days when 88788 was working, we would get two or three or four percent female index. You could consult with your state expert, and we have a state expert or two, university expert or two, in every one of the states involved in the coalition, and those experts are listed on the SCN Coalition's website. The state expert for your state might have provided a default value that once you enter your state, a number will pop up in the calculator. And then it's up to you. You can change that if you don't agree to it. Your state expert doesn't offer up a suggested value. Then you can use a little bit of logic. And that logic is if you've never grown a resistant variety or you've only grown a resistant variety once or twice over the last six crops of soybeans, you can pick a value, guess at a value between zero and 10. And that's because PI88788 is gonna work and keep numbers, female indexes down to zero to 10% for at least five or six soybean crops. Now, if you are from a state or you're on a farm where you've grown nothing but PI88788 for the last 10 or 15 crops, you really should get an HG type test done because your female index on PI88788 might be 30 or 40 or 50 or 91, like I discovered in a farmer's field in the fall of 2022. So it really depends a little bit on where you're at and what is known about SCN.